Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Y'all well, got this uh, 2005 Ford Sport Track uh, pickup here. It's my brother's, and we got in the shop here today. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be placing the cruise control buttons on the steering wheel. I just thought I'd bring y'all along, show you uh, how to do that, just real quick, and uh, it's not a hard job. But uh, let's go and get started. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to disconnect the uh, negative battery cable. We're going to leave it disconnected a while, make sure that you know we don't have no kind of uh, power going to our airbag assembly because we're going to be taking that loose. All right, y'all, here's these cruise control switches right here we're going to be replacing. You see the button's all worn out. And the first thing we're going to do here is right on the side of your steering column. You see right here, you have this uh, cover. Just take that loose with a little pick or screwdriver. And you're going to have one right here also on this side. What you want to do is just take that out. I think you're gonna have a eight or 10 millimeter a bolt inside, I think it's eight. Just uh, take them two um, bolts out. That will allow you to be able to pull this airbag I got the, out. Two bolts out and they are eight millimeter or five sixteenths. So uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking this airbag out. And uh, like I said, I've, I've had this unplugged naked battery cable probably I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And what I do, I just leave the door open. I turn my ignition switch on and just turn the headlights on, you know, just to, uh, in case any kind of residual power left in the system, just kind of drain that out of the system there. But uh, so we're just going to take this airbag out now. And what you're going to do, and I'm not going to be able to show you here just because I'm holding this camera, but I'll just show you right here the little clip. You see right here, this yellow wire right here, that's going to be for your airbag. And you're just going to push down on this little tab right here. And uh, just pull this connector loose and just lay your airbag to the side. There's two ways you can do this. Um, one way, it's going to require pulling your steering wheel. And the other way is just replacing your switches. You can do it either way. And I'll leave that up to you what you want to do. Now, obviously, you got a wiring problem. You want to go ahead and just pull the steering wheel. And the way you want to do that is just uh, take this uh, center uh, bolt out here and then get you a steering wheel puller and show you right here. Pull here, pull here. Just take your steering wheel puller and hook you, uh, uh, the ears behind that and pull it off. And um, that, But you got a clock spring right here. This is called your clock spring. Um, you want to be careful not to damage that because if you do, you know, it's going to uh, set some lights off and you're going to have to replace this uh, clock spring. And another thing here, just make sure you keep your steering wheel, you know, kind of straight right there. So you, your orientation, so you won't get your clock spring all off if you do take your steering wheel loose. But um, this uh, steering wheel, I believe it's got a spline uh, on one side or the other. Kind of, it goes on one way, so you, you can't really... Uh, put your steering wheel on wrong if you do have to take it off but anyway y'all right here we got this uh screw right here with ground wire and you got one on the bottom you got uh two screws on this side so what i'm gonna do and here's my new uh switch right here y'all uh these uh connectors right here you can uh, uh just uh, pull them straight out and they'll unplug and uh we're going to do that y'all we're just going to install the switch itself on each side and uh, it's going to save us a lot of time. And uh, I'll just show you when I get this apart. Just to show you exactly what right, I'm I was going to uh, just put these switches on. But after uh, hooking these connectors up, the, the connection wasn't as tight as I would like. They, they would probably work. But um, I don't want to take that chance. So I'm going to just go ahead and take uh, the steering wheel off. And uh, just use the new wiring harness that came with it. Uh, this is going to be a T50 torx bit that you'll need to take that steering wheel uh, nut off I mean bolt out right there but uh you see right there i just put a little mark right here just to uh, line up um about where it was before i took it off because i'm not really sure what torque spec but you just want to you know tighten it down you know snug it down pretty good and that should be fine all right y'all you do want to take this little connector loose right here going to your clock spring and you see right here this little plastic tab right here just take a screwdriver or pick push down on this little plastic tab right here and then you just pull straight out 
So I'm just going to tighten, hold the steering wheel here with my leg here, and I'm just going to tighten that up. And the steering wheel, you'll hear a little pop. I'll let you know it's the uh, All steering wheel puller wouldn't work, so it's time to bring out the big boy. We'll see if we pull this uh, steering wheel off this big two jaw puller. Let me tell you, this thing's really on here, so get you a good puller. I got it loose, and I'm just gonna go ahead and work this off now. And when I get this off, I'll show you the back side what we're gonna do. Y'all, you got a Phillips head screw here and right here, so we're gonna go ahead and take uh, that off so we can get this uh, cover. And off. they got a couple spots here and here that your wire new wire is going to be going through and you just want to loop them back around top for your cover and I just kind of make note how they arrange them wires and then like you have these two white clips right here connectors you're going to take a loose right here and they kind of route back across the top right here but let me go ahead and um, get these off and I'll get the new one installed and I'll show you when I get done I'll try I got my wiring Installed, got the switches installed. You can kind of see right there what it is right there. Got it tucked up in this cover right up in here. And uh, just real simple there. And uh, just make sure your wires all out of the way whenever you put your bolts back in here on the side. You can see right here where they go. Make sure you don't have no kind of wires, you know, protruding down in here so it ain't fair getting them bolts back in there. But that's it, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get it installed, and I'll take it for a test drive, and we'll see how it works. Got it all back together, and uh, I'm going to go take it for a test drive. And as you can see right here, we get, don't have any lights on, so that's always a good sign. So I'm going to take it down the road and see if that cruise will work. All y'all just got back from a test drive, and everything good on it. Uh, cruise control works. Uh, it's working. Hit the brakes when you cut it on and off, so everything's good on it now. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Maybe help you out if you got to uh, put some uh, switches on your uh, Ford truck. So I uh, appreciate y'all coming along. And as always, friends, from my family to yours, y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.